Good morning, y'all. My name is Bailey. I'm a first year third grade teacher in Florida, and today is my second day in third grade. I just wanted to pop on here and say hi and introduce the vlog because I am about to head out as we speak. Excuse the background, that's from VIP Kid. I just haven't taken it down yet, but I'm literally about to run out the door. It is 5:41. I I woke up at like 4:30, 4:40 today. Um, a little later than I wanted to, but y'all, I didn't fall asleep till like 10:30 last night because I was planning. <laughs> so, so I'm a little tired. I'm not gonna lie, but. I'm excited. I'm about to head to school and also today Starbucks is starting their pumpkin spice back so I will definitely be making a pit stop at Starbucks on my way. Um, excuse the room, it's kind of messy but this dress is from TJ Maxx. Um, I really like how it like kind of dips in the back, you know, like a little extra coverage. Um, but I really like the length of it. I'm 5'9", so finding stuff that is long on me is very rare. So I really like this. And, and then my shoes are just from Target. Um, my earrings are from, I think, Shein, actually. I think. Um, I just have on the rings I wear every day. I don't even know. I think they're from Etsy. Um, and then I just kind of did my hair half up, half down. So... Yeah. Okay, you guys. Oh my gosh, look at it. I haven't really drank. I'm like almost to school, but I haven't really drank a lot because I forgot to ask for a straw. And I like physically cannot drink it without a straw. Like I tried to take a sip and I just, I can't do it. Like the feeling of something on my tea, just like, no, it doesn't. It doesn't work out for me. I like even like any kind of like soda, tea, coffee, like anything like that. Oh my God, like I cannot have that on my teeth. I feel gross. So I'm gonna wait till I get to school and I have one of my straws. Sorry, I'm under a bridge right now <laughs> um, to drink it, but that's fine because it's cold brew, so there's no ice in it. So it's not gonna get all melted and weird. I also got a like breakfast sandwich since I did wake up a little later today and I didn't have time to cook. But yesterday I ate first, which I think is probably gonna be the best bet for me, at least for right now. Because once I'm like on my way, my nerves start to get a little and I like can't eat right now. <laughs> like I keep trying to take bites and I'm just like, but can't do it. So I haven't really ate much of my sandwich, but maybe I'll eat some of it eventually. I don't know. Maybe like this afternoon. Whenever I got to Starbucks, the barista was like, congrats, you're the first person to order it or like order the pumpkin spice or whatever. And I was like, yeah, I was probably way too excited. But I mean, they had just opened at like 530, I think. And so I got there like 545. So that's probably why. <laughs> but that was really funny. I'm almost to school and the kids have PE today. So if I'm not running around like a chicken with my head cut off, maybe I'll get to update you guys before school is over. <laughs> I mean, school will be over. Like they go to specials at one and school's over by two. Like they leave at like 140. But I'm almost to school. I'm like a little nervous still and I don't know why. Like Bailey, you just did this yesterday. You're, you're good. But I don't know, I'm still a little nervous. I I talked to some parents last night because um, I sent them all, all the ones that I had their numbers, I just texted them. But if I didn't have their number, I just sent them on Class Dojo their students' like picture because I took all their picture, even though so many of them were like, mm, I don't want to take your picture. And I was like, no, you have to take your picture. Because um, <laughs> I wanted them just to have, but also I knew the parents would probably want one too. So they all took the picture of the little sign. I sent them to the parents. They were so grateful and so glad and like were saying that their students, like for all the ones I talked to, they were like, they had such a good day. Like they said they really like you and they're really excited. And I was like, oh my God, thank you. That was just like the best, like, cause that was something I was worried about. Like, I was like, I just hope they like me. Like, obviously I'm trying to be stern and like, not stern, but like firm and not like, um, I definitely don't want to be like that new teacher who just lets her kids do whatever. Like, that's one thing I'm really like not gonna, that's not gonna happen this year. So I was really worried that I would come off too strong or like they wouldn't let 
like me um because i obviously i want them to like me but i also want them to respect me you know it's like a very fine line and so i was really worried like how they would receive it but all the parents said that they liked me and that they're excited so that made me feel so much better <laughs> oh another thing i did want to mention was that teaching with the mask honestly like was not bad at all like i was really worried because i haven't had to wear one in months like i worked at a grocery store during like the heat of the pandemic and i obviously had to wear one then but i that was like like smaller shifts usually so i was really worried especially with like having to like project my voice all the time and like them not being able to see my like the rest of my face like it would get really annoying but it honestly like wasn't bad at all like i kind of forgot that i even had it on the only bad thing is like my makeup gets all over them like the back of the one i wore yesterday is literally orange um so hopefully that like comes off whenever i wash them um i think it would but i don't know i think today i might try one of the ones that the school gave us they gave us like 15 white fabric ones and they're a little big but i think that might be nice that way i can like move my mouth more and like it won't fall down which the one i wore yesterday the one from like my kitsch or whatever didn't really fall down much at all but i don't know i think i'm gonna try it i know that one is literally the inside's going to be orange by the end of the day i want to see how it goes and if it isn't working i'll just switch i have like 10 in my purse right now so if it doesn't work i can just switch it out for a different one but yeah i'm literally about to pull into school so i will i guess just talk to you guys when i get a chance good morning y'all today is wednesday the 26th it's my birthday i am 21 today and i'm getting ready for school right now i'm sorry i did not vlog anything yesterday afternoon um honestly yesterday was not the best day i've ever had <laughs> it was only the second day but i got two new students um one of them was on my roster so like i was hoping i would she would come um but she just wasn't there on the first day and so that was fine because i already had all of her stuff set up like ready to go like she was set then around like 10 30 or so i got another new student um and i didn't have like he wasn't on my roster like he was actually like a new student it was fine because i had like a spot where a girl who had like switched out of my class already like had moved so i had the, the space for him and the stuff for him it was just like in the middle of our ela vlog i mean i know right now we're not really doing those but like it was just a lot and um then at the end of the day when it came to like transportation we were getting back from pe late and they had already started calling different like students um like walkers or car riders or whatever like they'd already started that and so i was already like overwhelmed because we were running behind um and I don't really know like all of the like the specific details on the procedures like okay like these the walkers go first and this is somebody comes to get them and these buses somebody will come get them from my classroom to take them to the bus but these ones I have to take to the bus like there's a lot of different little things like that that like I just don't know yet because you just just don't know until you're there and you don't even think to like ask those kinds of questions until that many um and there were a few students who like because you know the first day sometimes like parents will pick up their kids from school just because it's the first day but then, like after that they will go home with the bus or whatever it is so like yesterday morning because our admin has been emphasizing like know how your kids are getting home like all you literally your only goals for the day are get them fed and know how they're going home and get them there successfully and so like in the morning, I had my little form and I went around and I double checked with every, with every student. And there were two that were like iffy because they just had no idea. And so they, this week they're having like someone come around to each classroom 
and if we have any questions for any students like they will go find out for sure how that student gets home and um let me know so that we are all on the same page and for one student they called the parent the parent said this bus and then right at the last minute the parent was like oh no 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 this bus and but the student was telling me car rider and so i got confused and she went with the car riders and she's supposed to be on the bus and so it held up the bus line and they she got on the right bus eventually but um when i went out there with the up my other bus kids this lady like kept me yelling at me like where is blah blah blah, blah. like she's supposed to be on this and i was just like i she i i don't know <laughs> like i was just really like freaked out and i do not do good in situations where one someone's yelling at me like i just immediately want to cry and also when people like are upset with me or like i disappoint them then i get really upset and like break down <laughs> so um that happened and then the other student there's like two different daycare systems and i didn't know that and i sent them to one but it was actually the other one and it was a whole thing so um yeah so yesterday afternoon my principal my vice principal called me into the office just nothing like me they just wanted to know what happened and what i needed to know so that it wouldn't happen again and it was just overwhelming and i was nervous and like literally the only reason i didn't cry is because i like grabbed a piece of gum on my way because i knew i was upset and i knew like i would start crying but um if I'm like chewing gum, it's harder for me to cry. I don't know if that's like for everyone, but that's how it is for me. So I was literally holding back tears the entire time I was in their office. They were really nice and they were telling me I'm doing a good job so far and just like want to make sure we get all of this straight before t today. Um, so they were really nice about it. I was just like really worked up about it. And so as soon as I left their office, I started crying. And so I had to like run to the bathroom because I didn't want anyone to see me because I didn't want people to be like, oh, what's wrong? Like, I just wanted to get it all out and like by myself. So I held it together enough to walk back to my classroom and stay until like we are allowed to leave. And then as soon as we were allowed to leave, I left, got in my car and just sobbed for a few minutes. Well, for like 20 minutes. <laughs> and, um, and then after that, I was fine. Um, but yeah, it was just a lot and I was just overwhelmed <laughs> but yesterday I came home and I planned out today and a little bit of tomorrow because I want to try and get as much done for tomorrow like while I'm at school so that like this afternoon and tonight I can just relax and enjoy my birthday without being stressed out um I'm not sure if I'm gonna be completely done for tomorrow by like the end of the school day but we'll see but we do have a faculty meeting from like 2 30 to 3 so um that'll hopefully in that period of time before that meeting i can try and get some things done but yeah so that's how yesterday went and i was definitely not in the mood to pick up the camera and talk to you guys i was just upset so I was like, I'll just let them know in the morning how it went. But yeah, so today's my birthday. I'm getting ready. Um, feeling a lot better today. And yeah, I wasn't going to go to Starbucks because I went Monday and Tuesday, but it's my birthday. So I feel like I have to go, you know, and I can't remember if you get a free drink or not. I feel like you don't, but. I'm gonna look on my app and see. Okay, well, I'm going to finish getting ready um, and then I'll probably show you guys what I end up wearing. And then, um, yeah, we'll go through the rest of the day. So <laughs> I'll see y'all in a little bit. Is the outfit for the day. Um, my shoes are from Walmart, actually. Sorry, there's cruise toys everywhere. And then this dress is from Lizard Thicket, I want to say. It's a boutique um, at home, but they also have a website. Um, and then my earrings, I think, I think they're also from Lizard Thicket. Honestly, I don't remember though. They could just be from like Target or something. 
but yep this is it today i was gonna curl my hair but i've curled it the last two days and a bunch last week so hey y'all sorry if the last clip cut off my friend was calling me but i am almost to school and i got my starbucks and it was free because it was my birthday and yeah so i'm about to head into school and i might talk to you guys i might not it depends on how crazy it gets y'all this is the state of my desk right now oh my gosh they're at pe so i need to um clean up the floor over there because we had a little bit of a mess um but they're at pe their backpacks are at their desk because as soon as they get back from pe they are out of here and they go home today has been so much better than yesterday this morning i was still kind of like i think it's really just anxiety which i haven't ever really had um i like didn't eat lunch didn't eat breakfast because my stomach like i was just very nervous and stressed i guess but for some reason after lunch and recess i was just feeling so much better and more relaxed so i'm really glad i'm feeling better um i have a few things i want to get done so i'm gonna do that while they're gone i have to go pick them up in like 30 minutes so yay oh okay you guys so we just got done with our faculty meeting on not zoom google meet and i'm about to pack up my stuff i have some things that i was gonna copy before i left but it's my birthday i want to go home i want to see my boyfriend i want to go buy some wine you know you know so i'm going to pack up everything and head out um i was just talking to one of my one of my the other teachers on my team um she was just kind of explaining like ieps and things like that more to me um and all of that kind of stuff so i'm about to head out oh i forgot to tell you guys i got another new student today so we have added technically we've only added two but since the first day we've added three so i'm at 14 right now um but it's fine <laughs> good morning you guys so it is 5 13 and i am basically ready for school i might like do something to my hair like put some of it back or something i don't know but i left school went to Publix, and got myself some wine um and then came home and we had like an hour before my parents came and then we all went to dinner and we didn't get back from dinner until like nine so as soon as we got home i showered and went straight to sleep i was so exhausted so this morning i was hoping that i would like feel really rejuvenated when i woke up because i fell asleep what i thought was early than norm earlier than normal but i don't think it was it was like the same time so I woke up this morning very groggy, very tired, like had a blanket over me the entire time I was doing my makeup because um, I'm just so tired. Um, so I think I'm going to get a venti today at Starbucks because my boyfriend also got me a Starbucks gift card, which I'm not complaining. Trust me that honestly, that is the best gift you can give me because that's where most of my like spending money goes um so i was really excited about that um, but my birthday went really well and i feel bad because i haven't been able to go through and tell everyone that's told me happy birthday thank you and that's something that like i always like to do like i hate just having to make the post like thanks everyone for saying happy birthday like i like to individually say thank you to everyone because that's so nice like to take time out of your day to tell me happy birthday like i don't know i just always like to say thank you and i'm just like everything is so crazy right now and i just haven't been able to so um i really want to do that but i'm obviously not gonna have time today or like this morning um, but I really am tired, so I probably don't have to leave yet. Um, if I left right now, I'd get to school at like 6, and they don't all unlock the doors until 6.30. So, I think I'm going to go on my laptop real quick and make sure that I have my like outline for the day. So, what I've been doing, I wish I would have explained this, but um what i do every day for every day is i basically just give myself an outline of like maybe like hour by hour i maybe add in some 30 minute chunks here and there of what we're doing what activities we're doing what i want the kids to be doing 
how I want to like approach. I don't, it's not word for word, but it's just kind of like, it keeps me on track and organized. And I just have a clipboard that I have to carry around anyways, like during transportation, like at the end of the day and stuff. So I just put the schedule, the outline or whatever on there so I can kind of follow it and make sure I don't forget anything that I want to tell them. Um, and then I also do a PowerPoint basically throughout the day um, just to give them like a visual because I guess we apparently will like all the teachers get iPads and that's kind of like the way we can project like if we want to do a worksheet or something we just turn the camera on on the iPad like set it up and then do the worksheet but um, I don't have one yet like the school is supposed to give it to me and I just don't have mine yet so um so right now I can't do anything like that, but I use the PowerPoint just to like keep us on track. And also like I'll link videos and so we'll watch videos um, throughout the day. We watched a kid president one yesterday and the kids loved it. They were dying laughing. They wanted, they were like, can we watch that again tomorrow? Um, so I might have played it for them again tomorrow. It was like a good message. So I don't have any problem playing it again for them. Um, I did find another kid president video, I think, so I might play that one today. Um, but I already made the PowerPoint yesterday, the hour chunk that I was at home before my parents got here. I like kind of touched up my makeup and then sat on the couch and worked on that PowerPoint. Um, but it's definitely getting a lot easier to plan just because like we do similar things every day like right now we're in the process of doing like the first days of daily five so um they're still practicing read to self right now so um so we do that for like a 30 minute chunk of them practicing building their stamina and then um we also do for math i've just been doing they get a problem of the day that i found like a freebie on tbt with a bunch of problem of the day things um and then they can use their little makeshift whiteboards that i gave them which they love to use those so i let them use those to solve the problem of the day and i come over and check like everyone's as they go and then like once i've said they got it right they can just draw on the whiteboard until everyone's done so they've been really liking that and then after that we do some kind of math worksheet that i just have found um so yesterday was just a front and back like simple addition like from zero to nine or whatever maybe it was ten um and then that kind of took us right until the end when we had to start packing up before we went to specials. So that's all. We don't really have a ton of time in math. Um, it's basically just like an hour. And um, so that's all we did for that. But at, for ELA, like the morning is what's hardest because we technically have social studies, science, ELA, and then lunch. But right now we're not really like breaking it down by subjects like that. So that big huge chunk of time I just have to come up with things so we do have like an ELA like kind of first two weeks of school thing we can go off of um but it's not very specific or like I don't know it's kind of difficult to use and the kids it just kind of goes way over their head a little bit so um I've been trying to use that and trying to like, like for yesterday, I just made a worksheet with like five simple questions that we did together as a class. Um, just like, who are the characters in the story? Where is, what is the setting of the story? Um, what is the main character's point of view of this person? Just like simple things like that, that, um, they haven't really had to think about for the last few months because they had extra long spring break is what they're calling it. Um, so today um, we're reading a new story and we're making a flow chart so that should be fun um but i'm really glad i'm starting to like kind of get the hang of things and uh, i'm feeling a lot better about it i was getting really stressed because i was running out of ideas of things to do um just since i'm just trying to keep them busy basically this first week like since we don't really have curriculum um, but today, this afternoon, I'm sorry this clip is so long, um, but this afternoon we have planning with like all the third grade teachers, so we're going to get together and start planning up next week, I think. Um, I don't have tomorrow planned, but it'll be similar to like everything I've done this week 
we might still work on the same story from today and just kind of do something else with it. So, um, yeah. And I also, I think I'm going to attempt to have them journal today if we have time. Um, we do our read to self, like stamina building for daily five, which is like every day they practice reading independently, not, not making any noise, not like looking at their friends, not talking to anyone, like complete silent independent reading. And we practice, like they started at like three minutes and we've like increased the time every day. So, um, I'm going to kind of try and do that with writing. Um, just, I'm going to tell them they can write about what ever they want and I'm worried that like that's going to be harder than me giving them a prompt but I am kind of curious to see what they do so I think we're going to attempt that today um, just because I want to see where they're at too and I love just reading what they have to say honestly um so I think we might attempt that today if we have time which I'm sure we will but yeah so that's another thing that I want to do today but I'm going to go ahead and go so I can write up that outline um, that I was talking about earlier because that's the one thing. I finished the PowerPoint last night before dinner, but I didn't do the outline, which I don't need the outline, but it is really helpful like throughout the day. Um, so I'm going to whip that up real quick just based off of what I've already put on the PowerPoint. This is my outfit for today. Definitely more casual. So my impression was that we couldn't wear jeans. Um, unless it was Friday, but I think it's, you can only wear in a t-shirt, but you can only wear a t-shirt on Fridays, I think is what it was. I don't know, but I have seen plenty of, cause I've seen plenty of teachers wearing jeans and like I saw one wearing leggings yesterday. So I feel like it's the dress code isn't as like strict as I thought it was. I don't know. I think it just really depends on the school. These shoes are just from Target. My like mom-ish jeans are from American Eagle. This shirt is from the Jane app. Um, it kind of like has longer sleeves. It's like uh, three, four, or quarter length sleeves or whatever that's called. Um, and um, I saw that putting them first. Um, she uses the Jane app, so I thought I'd try it out. And I think the shirt was only like twelve dollars or something. So that's cool. And then this cardigan is from Old Navy. I am obsessed with this cardigan because it's very long. So like with leggings, that's really nice. Um, I used to wear that a lot in college. Um, but yeah, I ended up not doing anything to my hair because I don't feel like it. But yeah, I think that's it. Sorry if my room is kind of crazy. Um, I During the weekdays, like I have all of my like teacher clothes in the closet and then all of my like I don't want to say teacher shoes. Obviously, these snake booties are not teacher shoes, but like all of my like not my Crocs and like sandal things and things. I don't know. But yeah, so that's it for the fit, and I'll see you guys later. Sorry. Also, I'm sorry my mirror is dirty, y'all. I just don't have time for these things right now. My head is like going 500 miles an hour with other things, so eventually. I'll clean the mirror for y'all. Hey guys, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I am only vlogging when I'm not in my classroom lately. But when I'm in there, it's like I'm in this like time capsule and I just like don't even know what's going on. I'm just like another person do like going boom, 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 just doing everything. And then I get to my car and I'm like, oh, I was supposed to vlog. And so that is why you saw nothing today um and also I know I told you guys this morning how tired I was I was really hoping like once I started getting ready and like everything I would feel fine because that's normally what happens like I'm obviously exhausted when I wake up but then by the time I'm like done getting ready I'm like fine yeah that didn't happen today and I literally when I got to school I had to take a nap for like a good five minutes like an actual nap like I fell asleep because I was just so exhausted I know like everyone says like teacher tired is like crazy but like oh my gosh so I'm literally gonna go home and take a little nappy and then I have some things I need to do I've already planned for tomorrow like I know exactly what I'm doing everything squared away ready for that so that's good because that was kind of stressful trying to like plan for literally the next day and like not allowing myself to fall asleep until I was completely done so tomorrow's already planned
for the things I'm doing tonight are just kind of like things that I need to get done, but like it's not anything urgent, I guess, uh, but it would just help me in the long run. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing tonight after I take my map, but today it went so much better. Um, not so much better than yesterday because yesterday was a good day, but just like compared to Tuesday, like I'm feeling a lot more confident and like we're getting into a routine and I know I'm kind of, I can kind of gauge where they're at and like 
Good morning, y'all. Today is Friday. We made it. Also, I think I'm losing my voice, so that's great. Um, but today is Friday, and I just got to school. It's 6.45. Um, I have to go make copies of one little worksheet real quick, and then um, I just have a couple things that I like to do in the morning. I also have to pick my classroom jobs because they have been waiting all week to find out who gets a classroom job and I feel so bad like not <laughs> letting everyone have one but that's just how it goes so I have to pick those real quick before they start getting here because I know they're gonna ask me like right away um I also have to print out my new student's name tag and get that all on her desk ready to go um and also get her labels ready for her folders and notebooks and things so um I definitely have a few things I need to get done this morning so gonna go ahead and start doing those things I'll show you my outfit real quick so um Fridays I don't really understand how it works I assumed Fridays are jean days I think I mentioned this yesterday but I see them other teachers wearing jeans all the time so I think Friday's like the only day you can wear jeans and a t-shirt but I don't have like a school t-shirt so I'm just going I just wore this <laughs> um I also kind of wish I had worn a tank top because I feel like this is kind of like a low um but it's fine so um this shirt is from the jane app y'all you should really look at this app um because they have a lot of cute stuff on there and it's not expensive so that's from there i had this cardigan on the other day it's just from ross actually i think i might have said tj maxx but i think it's actually from ross my jeans are old navy and my shoes are from these are from pink lily boutique or something um, this is from Hobby Lobby and so is this and I just like put them together so that's that and my doorbell I'm gonna show you guys um, I'm gonna kind of tell you guys what we're doing today because I feel like I haven't done that all week um, but <clears throat> so what I do is I we all have to have a clipboard for whenever we do dismissal that shows like where our kids are going just in case there's any questions um, so every day this week I've made like a walkthrough. This one's two pages. Um, some of the first few days they were three pages, but um, I just make a list of things I need to do in the morning before they get here. Kind of things I want to make sure I touch on during morning meeting, just like procedure wise, because I know I'll forget. Um, so after we do all of our morning meeting stuff, I'm going over procedures again because we do have a new student. Um, we're going to do a desk check. I told them every Friday we're going to do a desk check. And if you pass, you get a dead your point. So we're going to be doing that today. We're going to watch. We're going to play 20 questions. We did this yesterday and they loved it. And yesterday we did animals. So I think today we'll just do food or something. Um, and I make them like tell me what it is first. So I know they're not like switching it and just trying to win or whatever. Um, then we're going to watch a kid president video on like how to be awesome or something. They love kid president. Um, and then I think we'll do the dojo store. So that'll be interesting. So that's kind of just our like morning stuff. And then we're taking our bathroom break because we all have to go wash our hands. Then we are going to do daily five practice. So they've been practicing their stamina, um, reading independently. And so we're almost at 10 minutes. So really exciting. So while they're doing that, I'm going to be pulling kids to do their fluency tests. Um, and then we are going to read reread a story we read yesterday from like the wonders book and then make a flow chart and if we have time we'll do synonyms and antonyms too because we'll be working on that next week so if we get to get some practice um and then i want to attempt to have them practice journaling um kind of like with daily five like practicing reading independently We're, we'll practice writing independently by ourselves um so i'll probably like model that first um, just like kind of how I would write, I guess. I don't know how to explain it, but that way they can start practicing doing that. Um, and then I want to do a read aloud. I've been doing them every day this week and most of them just have like a really good message, something about being honest or being kind, we're a family, things along those lines. Um, and then we're going to put all of our books into the quarantine bin and then Monday morning, they should be fine to put back into the library. Um, after that we have lunch 
and that goes into recess and then we have an hour for math so i've been doing a problem of the day every day they get to use their little whiteboards which they love um so we do our problem of the day and then we we've just been doing some kind of like math worksheet um i'm gonna look and see one of the teachers we were, was using this like flip thing for um place value so i want to see if i have them because she said i probably do um if we do then i'm gonna pass those around and do a little place value kind of thing with them um and then after that i have a kahoot like a math kahoot just in case we have extra time and then at 12 45 we pack up we go to the bathroom and then we start specials at one and then as soon as specials are over they go home so that's basically the entire day a little walk through i wish i had done that every day for you guys or at least kind of touched on it but it's been a crazy week but i promise i'll get better at this i don't think i'm gonna vlog next week just to give myself a week to just breathe um and plus i st i have two videos this week technically since the first week of first day of school will be its own video so yeah uh, i'm gonna go make these copies get all this stuff done and i'll talk to you guys probably this afternoon you guys we did it we made it a full week of school i've never been more tired in my life um today this week was the most stressful week of my entire life and the most um tiring and the most rewarding i think too um it's been crazy <laughs> but it's been so fun and i love them so much even though i'm pretty sure i am definitely losing my voice um just because i haven't had to talk this loud for this long and ever really honestly they are kind of getting the hang of things my new student never showed up um i'm thinking maybe she's just gonna start on monday i'm guessing um but she was online i got more details she was online and then switched but she never showed up for online so guess we'll see but um yeah there we did kind of a fun friday today they went shopping in the dojo store for the first time um they did pretty well it was really funny they i told them i was like you guys can save your money or you can spend your money and they a lot of them had about six dollars that was like the average um and so some of them wanted to save it and i was like okay well i'll give you <clears throat> I'll give you a five you give me five of your ones that way you'll still have six but it won't be as many and so once this kid started seeing other kids getting the orange dollars they were like oh, I want to do that I don't I don't want to spend my money I just want an orange one <laughs> and it was so funny so they really enjoyed it they did get a little crazy like while I was having other kids come up to buy stuff the ones that were just sitting were getting loud and like not not anything crazy but just like louder than I wanted them to be and I was like y'all we don't we don't have to do this we can just go straight into math like i'm fine with that so once um kind of made it clear that like this is a luxury that we get to go shopping in the dojo store um they were like they started to behave a little bit better but um i think they enjoyed that and um for math today i would just like write a problem on the board have them write it on their whiteboard solve it flip it up show me and they really enjoyed that um so that was fun i'm excited to like get into the curriculum next week just so that it's more structured like i feel like most teachers would be the opposite like this is like the fun part just having them do fun stuff but like i'm ready to get into like the structured routine you know plan everything out um so yeah um next week will be interesting for sure i'm gonna there's a lot of little things i want to do around the classroom before i leave today um for some reason i really thought we were planning this afternoon and everyone was like girl it's friday we're not planning and i was like oh okay <laughs> so get to go home a little earlier i probably am gonna leave like right at 2 45 um when we're allowed to leave so uh i'm going to just do a few things i want to add since i've gotten four new students this week i'm gonna add them to my birthday board um i might print out the circles with their names on them and add them i'll probably just put them honestly on top of the ones that aren't in my class anymore um and i think that's probably all i'm gonna do this on sunday i'll probably do more like planning kind of stuff oh my god i have to pee okay so this is the state of my classroom i feel like it's honestly pretty good for a whole week of school 
Um, I did want to show you guys our book quarantine bin. I cannot believe they've gone through this many books. Like what? I know they didn't actually read all of them, but um, they really did make a dent in my library. So these will sit all weekend and then by Monday, they should be good to go. I probably won't have time Monday morning to like um, put them all back where they go, but um, I should be able to put a good amount back. That way Monday when they go through books, they'll have some to choose from. These are their little mask things. Bins are working so well. Um, if you guys haven't started yet, or even if you have honestly, and you're like wondering how you're gonna figure that out, I love this. Um, I guess if you don't have like the extra desk, it might be more difficult, but it's amazing right now. Um, just because like they can literally throw everything in it. These are our book bins, but they kind of add papers throughout the day to them just because it's easy to store papers in there too that we were like picking up, putting back and stuff. But it's nice because they can put all their supplies in the bins, but then they're like books and stuff and folders and notebooks and all that can stay in their desk. And so nothing is too crazy or crowded. The Target um, dollar spot things have been super helpful. Like this, I literally just did in like two minutes this morning. Um, so that's been awesome. I need to color in our little mason jar. Um, this cleaning bin, I honestly just keep it up here. And then in the mornings, I'll just put this stool out and just place it right there so that when they're walking in to move their tin, they can just place their stuff in the bin. It's super easy. And then this is like my little area in the front. So my computer will sit right there with the slides. And then I can just sit here and show them something on there. Or if we're just talking or reading or something and I want to sit, that's really nice. Um, and then I just put our read alouds for the day. Okay, y'all, it's 2.30 and they just made an announcement that we can go home. So I think we want to go home. Um, I didn't finish what I, everything I said I was gonna do. Um, really, all I did was color in our dojo goal and kind of clean up my desk area, check their dojo bins. Speaking of, I need some hand sanitizer. Um, I checked their dojo bins to see how many points they redeemed because I forgot to put that into dojo. Um, to like so that they're not spending so that they're they don't think they have more money than they do um which is really another cool point another cool part of class dojo is like you can keep track of their points and then you there's a redeem feature so if you do like a dojo store or something like that um you can show like it'll show on their things so hey guys so it is oh my gosh my voice this is so bad it is 247 and I just left school a little bit ago. Um, but I cannot believe I completed my first week. Oh my gosh, I did it. Like there were honestly so many times, not so many times, like there were probably like two or three times that I was just like, what, what did I just get myself into? Like, why did I think I could handle this? Like I was just so overwhelmed so stressed out but I did it it gets so much better like Tuesday was honestly just like crazy for me like Monday I was on the like first day high like I was still nervous but I was it was like first day excitement woohoo and then Tuesday just hit me like a freaking train and I was just like what did what did I think I what like I can't do this and then like there was one point where I'm sitting eating lunch thinking like, oh my gosh, like I can never just like not go to work. Like I'm working for the rest of my life until I retire in 30 years. Like I just, like, I don't know why I do that to myself. Just like think about the craziest things. Like, I think I was just losing it there for a second. But honestly, this week was so much better. By the end of the week, like today was really good. Um, we're still trying to learn what level one voices means. I should, I should have done level zero is no voices, but I didn't really think that went through. So when I say level one voices, it means no voices. Um, so we're still learning that, but that's honestly the only issue I have, like is that they just like to talk, which I will take that over like behavior 
crazy like be bad behavior issues any day they just like to talk so you know I get it they haven't seen their friends in so long um, and they've missed them and so they want to talk and I get that and so I try to make sure that I give them time to do that and especially since they can't be close at recess they can't sit at a lunch table all together and talk like I try to give them a little like windows of time to be able to do that just because it's important I think like making them sit there and not talk at all all day long is just kind of sad so I really try to make sure they have that opportunity but that's honestly the only like behaviorish issues I have um, I'm really excited though that it's the weekend um I honestly don't I have like no plans for this weekend my shirt is just like a weird it's just weird I like this shirt a lot but I feel like the the hole is too deep or maybe it's just the way my body is I don't know but I don't like that but yeah I'm definitely not feeling as overwhelmed when it comes to planning anymore just because like it's starting to go by way faster like the first couple days where I didn't really know what to expect it was by pretty slow um, maybe I'll start editing my week of school video and I'll probably upload that like next weekend which but by the time you guys see this obviously it's uploaded because this is that video but whatever then I will see you guys in my next video it'll probably be a week in my life or maybe something about my teaching portfolio I don't know we'll see Woo!